How's it going everyone? Mount Spider here, bringing you another episode in the Pokemon TCG series. Today, I want to be taking a look at the Leaf Charge deck, going through the deck list, and then ha having a game after that. The purpose of going through the deck list is to do a bit of a deck dive, and take a look at all the cards, how we can use them, and a brief explanation of the cards. So, I did a first impressions for this deck, which you can uh, watch by clicking on the card above me. And I wanted to do this deep dive after doing the first impressions so that I can give you a bit more information of what I feel about the cards. Um, and yeah, I had a lot of fun with this deck when I played with it previously. It's a very interesting deck and I feel like it can do quite well on the theme ladder. And I really do look forward to having a lot more games with it because it has a lot of fun combinations and a lot of fun plays you can do with it. So, before we get started, I would also like to say thank you to one of the commentators who points out my mispronunciation of Kyogre. Um, I've been saying it wrong all this time. I never actually realized that. So thank you for that. I really do appreciate it. And if any of you guys or girls pick up on my mispronunciation of any of the Pokemon's names, please do call me on it. Um, if I do mistakenly mispronounce the name, it is a mistake. And I really would appreciate the correction. So let's jump right into it. Um, with this deck, I really do enjoy going second. And let's go through the Pokemon. I want to explain why. Because I feel like this deck can be very aggressive. So, taking a look at Snowbo. General basic starter. Does have a nice beefy 80 HP, which is quite good. And he has Ice Shards. Unfortunately, it is a 2 energy. Um, so, Snowbo is one of those cases where I don't want to open with it when going second. Because I can't get that first attack off. And, of course, it is weak to fire. Which is a problem with the... Um, the Charizard deck, Relentless Flame, that is up there. Uh, Roaring Flame. I always get it wrong. Um, actually, before I even start this video, let me go and look, because I always get that deck's name wrong, and I'm going to reference it a few times. The decks I'm going to reference most will be the Unseen Depths, the Towering Heights, and the Relentless Flame. <clears throat> These are the three decks you see most in the meta, um, so I'm going to be referring to them more often than other decks when doing comparisons. Uh, where is it? There. Okay. So, Snowba is unfortunately weak against it, but when going up against Towering Heights, this Ice Shards actually ends up dealing 60 damage, which is quite decent. A Bomber Snow. So, a Bomber Snow is really great, I think. 130 HP, so it is quite beefy. Unfortunately, he is in one-shot range for a lot of Pokemon. Um, Kyogre one-shots him. Um, Charles had one shot him. So a lot of the other Pokemon's other decks, large Pokemon, will one shot him. However, he does have some nice abilities. Blessings of the Frost. When you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon during your turn, you may attach a Grass Energy card from your discard pile to one of your Pokemon. This is great if you have previously retreated a Pokemon or used like an Ultra Ball to discard a Grass Energy from your hand. You can now return it, which is quite nice. And your Hypno Hammer, it is full energy, but there are ways around that which I'll explain um, in a little bit. 80 damage and your opponent's active Pokemon is now asleep. If you get lucky with this, you can really start um, just bulldozing your opponent from a very early stage. Uh, so I do think Abomasaur has got a lot of potential in this deck. The full energy cost is steep, but there's ways around that, considering that the rest of the deck is very cheap on energy. Electric. Great starter. Zapkick, 20 damage, 50 HP. Very happy with him. And why I say he's a great starter is because of his evolution, Manectric. 110 HP and a zero retreat cost, which I really, really appreciate from a stage one evolution from what might be your active Pokemon. Or better yet, straight up starting Manectric because of his Pokemon ability called Electric Start. If you go second, and if this Pokemon is in your hand when you're setting up to play, you may put it face down as your active Pokemon or on your bench. The fact that you can start with this as your active Pokemon is so aggressive and just so crazy. It is amazing. And it just gets better with double charge. Double charge, one energy, 40 damage. Again, not much damage, but you may attach up to two basic energy cards from your hand to one of your bench Pokemon. That is absolutely crazy. If you start with this as your active Pokemon have, and have something like a Snova or an Oranguru on your bench, you can get it charged up in a second. 
you can literally then go second turn Arangu with his uh, with three energy and start just bulldozing your opponent. Manectric is fantastic as either your active Pokemon straight off the bat, your first active Pokemon, or to basically come in as like a battery. When you've got a little bit of a break that you want to spend charging up your other Pokemon, he is amazing. And he allows you to get out energies very quickly, which is important for this deck. So, Chincho, nothing special, 60 HP, a little bit of damage all around, not too bad. Spark can come in handy for hitting your opponent's bench, but it's not fantastic. So Chincho is very much just there. Lantern is quite nice because it has energy grounding. This allows you to take one energy from your active Pokemon that is knocked out, and then you can move it to uh, Chincho, uh, to Lantern, sorry. Uh, Lantern's Lightning Strike does do some pretty decent damage. Um, he can be knocking out 140 damage at, uh, in a shot, which can help you take out one of your opponent's very strong Pokemon. So it's not a bad finisher, and just to come in and quickly knock out one of your opponent's Pokemon. Unfortunately, with Lightning Strike requiring you to lose both your Lightning Energies to use it, it is a little bit difficult to get it off twice in a row. So be use Lantern sparingly. Dunsparce, 50 HP. Strike and run. This is a little bit interesting. Search your deck for up to three basic Pokemon and put them onto your bench. Then shuffle your deck. If you put any Pokemon onto your bench in this way, you may switch this Pokemon with one of your bench Pokemon. So, it's interesting. And it's a nice way to just fill up your bench quickly if you can start as Dunsparce as your active Pokemon. Um, again, it's not a fantastic Pokemon, but it is a great way to fill up your bench. If you have, for instance, in my scenario in one of the previous games, your opening hand had basically just stage 1 Pokemon, and if you happen to have done sparse, it's a great way to be able to fill up those basic Pokemon onto your bench. Trico. Um, Trico himself is nothing, well, himself or herself. Trico is nothing special just by itself. It's the evolutions that really give Trico a lot of power. So, going into this first evolution, Grovel. One energy. Like I said, a lot of these Pokemon don't rely on a lot of energy. Gravel, 80 HP, pretty average in that sense. And Leaf Blade. Flip a coin, if it heads, attack deals 40 more damage. Gravel, nothing too special, but low energy requirements, which is always nice. And one retreat cost, which is always nice. Skeptile, this is where Trico's line really shines. 140 HP, which it takes him out of one shot range from um, Kyogre, which is quite nice. And, um, I want to say Snivy, but it's not Snivy. Um, some of the other Pokemon. A lot, a lot of the power of Pokemon end up dealing about 130 damage with their attacks. Skiptar is at least out of that range, which is very, very good. So, power of nature. Prevent all damage done to your Pokemon that have any energy, grass energy, attach them by attacks from your opponent's Ultra Beasts. You won't be seeing Ultra Beasts too often, um, but it's there if you need it. Now, Powerful Storm is where Skeptar gets very interesting. This attack does 20 damage times the amount of energy attached to all your Pokemon. Now, when you think of this with Electric, Electric, who's able to, Electric, who's able to charge up a lot of energy onto all your Pokemon, Powerful Storm can end up doing crazy damage. I got this up quite comfortably to 10 energies, a spread across my Pokemon, which deals 200 damage. <laughs> you will knock out most Pokemon with 200 damage. So, Skeptar is a crazy powerhouse who only requires one energy and also only has a one energy retreat cost. So you can get Skeptar in and out very, very easily, which is absolutely fantastic. Okay. And also you do have the standard and the foil version with this deck. So, Furfru, 90 HP, great. Very beefy for your first active Pokemon. And he has Return, which you may draw cards until you have five cards in your hand. It's great if you're sitting on a very few cards in your hand, you've played out your hand, you can then draw up to five. So, it's a good draw mechanic. One energy, one energy retreat cost, pretty good utility. Okay, Urungu. This is actually a serious powerhouse for this deck. 120 HP, so he's really, really beefy. He has Instruct. Once during your turn, you may draw cards until you have three cards in your hand. Again, it's a little bit useful. You won't be using it too often, but it's there. It might come in handy. Now, Psychic. 
This is where Unguru shines. This attack does 20 more damage times the amount of energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon. This can really, really come in handy. Base damage is 60. Not fantastic, but it's pretty decent. But it deals a lot more damage based on how many energy cards attached to your opponent's Pokemon. Urunguru can come in there and really surprise your opponent and deal a lot of damage. Don't neglect, neglect Urunguru. Okay, moving now on to the trainer cards. Ultra Ball. Discard two cards from your hand. If you do, search a deck for Pokemon, reveal it, and put it into your hand. It's a good fetch mechanic, nothing wrong with it. Timer Ball. Flip two coins for each head, search a deck for an evolution Pokemon, reveal it, and put it into your hand. Again, great fetch mechanic if you get lucky. I tend to have terrible luck with Timer Ball, so I'm not the biggest fan, but it does have a lot of potential. You should get at least one Pokemon from it. Switch, always nice to see. Switch your active Pokemon one of your bench Pokemon. Rescue Stretcher is always quite useful. Put a Pokemon from your discard pile into your hand, or shuffle three Pokemon from your discard pile into your deck. It's always useful in case you're on a bit of a back foot and have lost a few key Pokemon, you can put them straight back in. Okay, Nest Ball, another great fetch mechanic. Search your deck for basic Pokemon and put it onto your bench. This deck has a lot of fetch mechanics. And as I've said in my previous videos, I really, really appreciate fetch mechanics. It's no use having these great answers if they're sitting in your deck and you can't use them. You need these fetch mechanics to get those answers out and get them on the board. So cards like this, super useful. Okay, Tate and Lisa, love this card because it has utility. It has two options. You can either shuffle your hand into your deck and then draw up to five cards, or you can switch your active Pokemon with one of your bench Pokemon. Again, it's utility, it's options. These are always great cards. Okay. Professor, draw two cards. During your turn, you attack to your 20 more damage. Great card. You're getting a draw out of it and you're dealing more damage out of it. I am more than happy with the Professor. Okay. Copycat. Shuffle your hand into your deck, then draw a card for each card in your opponent's hand. This is quite a great card, especially with this deck as you tend to play out your hand pretty quickly with this deck. You've got a lot of fetch mechanics, you've got a lot of um, uh, mechanics which actually put energies onto your Pokemon. So you, you end up playing your hand out relatively quickly with this deck. Copycat is quite nice. Just remember, I made the mistake in my previous video that Copycat shuffles your hand. Um, so just do be careful in case you have some answers in your hand you want to keep, uh, keep on you. Copycat is going to shuffle those back into your deck but you can get some great draws off with this deck. Uh, lady, always happy seeing Lady. Search your deck for up to four basic energy cards, reveal them and put them into your hand. This goes great with Manectric who can then put those energies onto your Pokemon. So Lady, always useful. And it thins out your deck, it's getting rid of those bad draws. Um, always pronounce the name wrong, Huey, Huey, don't know how to pronounce it, but you draw three cards. Huey, yeah, I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's a draw three cards trainer. Fantastic. I'll look up the pronunciation for this one. And Guzma. Uh, this is interesting. I do quite like it. Switch one of your opponent's banished Pokemon with their active Pokemon. You get to choose. That can be very, very useful for shutting down your opponent's plans. And if you do so, switch your active Pokemon with one of your banished Pokemon. So you can use it to get yourself out of trouble and disrupt your opponent. Or you can use it to put yourself on the front foot and get rid of your opponent's plans before you can actually put them together. So, don't underestimate this card. It can be very, very useful. Lily, draw cards to you have six, or if, you, if this is your first turn, draw up to eight. Great card. Um, again, this deck tends to play out, so these draw mechanics are great. This deck has a lot of fetch and a lot of draw. Two things I love in a theme deck. Okay, experience share. When your active Pokemon is knocked out by damage from an opponent's attack, you may move one energy card from that Pokemon to the Pokemon this card is attached to. It's decent. It's a bit of energy recycling. Uh, you can throw this on a Trico in the beginning of the game, and at some point when one of your Pokemon get knocked out, you can just move a grass energy to it. It's, it's useful. It has its moments. Okay, and then your energies. There are no special energies in this deck, unfortunately. So, that was a quick overview of the deck. Let's jump into a game. Let's see how it plays out. Like I said, I'm really enjoying this deck. It's a lot of fun, it's something different, and 
I feel like you could throw your opponents off a bit with this deck because you won't be seeing this deck very often on the theme ladder. So people shouldn't be too familiar playing against it on a regular basis. So going up against Towering Heights, I haven't actually faced Towering Heights with, yet with this deck. So I'm very interested to see how it plays out. Okay. Um, again, I'm hoping to go second. With this deck, I basically always want to go second, just for the chance of getting that super aggression off. Uh, so let's see what happens. I lost the coin flip. And who is going first? Okay, I'm going second, which I really want to see. And here we go. This is a great starting hand. That is my active Pokemon. That is crazy good. Okay. Um, I'm not too happy seeing both lanterns in my hand. Um, but anyway, let's see how it goes. Let's get a Furfru down, Chincho down, and I'm happy. Okay, this is a pretty decent hand overall. I would be very happy drawing into like a Lady or even a Lily or just something like that just to get some draws out. Unfortunately, I'm playing into my weakness with this, which is not ideal. Um, all my Pokemon at the moment are weak to fighting which is a slight problem, but not too much I can do about that at the moment until I get my grass type Pokemon out. So my neck trike is not going to last too long on the front line, um, but I'll be able to take two hits from uh, the thrall. Okay, that's actually pretty decent with an ultra ball. Um, what do I want though? I definitely want to do Ultra Ball. I'm going to get rid of one Lantern and get one of Experience Share. But now I don't know what I want. I'm playing for Dunsparce just to fill up my bench. Um, I want Uren Guru, but he's weak to fighting. I actually think Snova is the answer here. And hopefully get the bomber snow draw. Okay, let's go for the double charge. My opponent didn't actually play an energy on the first turn, which is quite interesting. Um, I don't know if that was a misplay, or if they just don't have any energy. I'm really hoping he doesn't. Oh, okay. Never mind then. I was gonna say put an energy straight onto pop turn and just do a switch. Okay, there's skeptile tile. Um, not a g exactly a very good draw. My hand's looking a little bit thin at the moment. Um, I do need to see a draw mechanic very soon. Otherwise, I might be in a lot of trouble. Because um, it's all great having double charge, but not having any targets for it doesn't help. Because this big boy is coming in next turn and is going to destroy my life. So again, I need to see a draw very soon. Um... I actually maybe shouldn't have gone for that knockout. Okay, that's Lady. So I'm quite happy seeing Lady. Hmm. Okay. Uh, it's a bit late, unfortunately, because unfortunately now I'm going to get knocked out, which is far from ideal. Okay, I definitely want to choose the energy, put on Lantern. Um, let's see. Now, I might consider holding off playing Lady just to get two draws off a of Furfru. I can play Lady then next turn. Yes, I most certainly want to draw up. Because I can't get attacked next turn from Groudon. Okay, that's a decent draw. I'm still not too happy with this. Um, not having this lady earlier on and getting trolls off from Nick Trick really did hurt. So I'm a little bit concerned. Uh, Furfru is going to drop next turn. I don't need to play lady on this next turn. There's Professor, which is quite nice actually. So let's get Uranguru down. Um,
Let's start charging with the Snova. The Snova actually deals a lot of damage, which is quite nice. Let's get a Professor off. Hopefully we get some nice draws. Not terrible, but not great. Um, yeah, not terrible, not great. Um, okay, uh, not great draws this game. I'm a little bit worried. Um, I really want to see like the Bomber Snow come out, or I want to see um, the Tree Crow and Grovel come. So the Snova's going to get this knockout, which is quite nice. Nest ball, yes please. I want to see a Trico. Um, well, the other thing is I can actually bring Electric, electric out. No, I'd rather go Trico. I think you bring Electric out because, um, sorry, Manectric out. Electric out to go into Manectric, but I don't think it's actually worth it. Okay, let's bring him out. Let's go for a lady to get our energy out because we are drawing junk energy at this stage. I can't believe the Snova is going to knock out a Groudon, but okay. Let's get that off. I uh, don't want to switch and I don't want to use Rescue Stretcher just yet. Let's go Ice Shard and get a KO for 120 damage, which is quite crazy, but okay. What are we getting? Electric. Okay, that's actually not bad because I can Pokemon Stretcher and get an evolution off next turn. So I'm actually okay with that. Um, that's a pretty decent draw. And that'll help me get my energy game online as well. Okay. Um, unfortunately, even if I draw on a Bomber Stone next turn, I can't get that going. So I do need to get more draws out of this deck. I've got a lot of draw mechanics, but I'm not really getting them, which is a bit unfortunate. My opponent's bench is starting to look a little bit scary, and I can't get a knockout this turn, unfortunately. Um, let's get that down. Let's bring our Manectric back to our hand. Snova, you're going down next turn, my friend, so I don't really not too concerned with anything for you. Um, I don't know who to charge up. Mm, maybe Ungu? Well, actually I need Electric to have energy for next turn, so I may as well put that on there while I'm still thinking. Let's get some crazy damage off. Snova's actually putting in some serious work here, which is great. Um, I'm very happy with that. Okay. Um, hmm. I'm in a bit of a pickle at the moment. So, my next track will come in, I'll be able to charge up my Uruguru, get some energies off. Um, will I be able to knock this out? I don't think so, with Uruguru. 6, 8, 10, 120. I won't be able to knock him on, unfortunately. Um, that Snova put in some great works. I'm very happy with him. Lantern is just sat here sucking up that energy, which is fantastic. Let's get Electric in. Okay. Uh, Dunsparce. Eh. Not really what I want to see right now. Um. I'm actually really considering just using Copycat. Because this hand is just not looking great at the moment. Um, Dunsparce is nothing for me, there's no point. Okay, I'm actually gonna go for Copycat. This hand isn't working. Okay, there's a Grovel, that's actually really good. And a lot of energy, which I can use with Medic Track, which is quite nice. Let's go double charge. Let's get the KO. 
Um, let's put Urban Guru online. So at least next turn I can get some damage off with him. Mm, not the best draw. Now I really want to draw into a Skeptile. If I can get a Skeptile off, I can just sweep with Skeptile. Problem is I'm not going to, I won't get a knockout on, on the Scar Chomp. Uh, I'm hoping that they don't have a second Scar Chomp out already, but most likely with Seismitoad he'll have a second one. My opponent got the Seismitoad out actually very quickly. Um, Uh, the problem is this Uunguru doesn't get a knockout, which is quite frustrating. But I don't see a better time of playing him. Okay, come on, let's get some draws, let's get some draws. Nest ball is not what I'm really looking for right now. Um, oh, my other Snovers are my prize cards. Hmm. Okay, that's pretty garbage, but let's go for Trico. At least Trico gets damage off. Um, it's not really great either way, but anyway. Let's get that done. Hopefully Leaf Blade gets lucky with some attacks in the future. Um, yeah, let's go for Psychic. Unfortunately, I'm going to be losing Uunguru next turn, but not too much I can do about it. I need to draw a Skeptile, but I think even drawing Skeptile doesn't get me out of trouble. I just didn't get my Grass Pokemon off this game. Damn, okay. I think this, my opponent's actually got this one. So this is a bit of a roller coaster of a game. I thought I had a very good opening hand, but it turned out to play out quite badly. Um, and yeah, a lot of this deck's actually really weak to fighting, unless you can get your Grass type Pokemon out, which I just was not able to do this game. Um, yeah, it happens, I guess. Because uh, the problem is, even if my opponent uses Overslice, 120. Basically, I'd need to draw a Skeptile this next turn. Otherwise, it's game. Hmm. Yeah, I need to draw a Skeptile. That is not a Skeptile. So let's put that there. Let's just go for the attack. Unfortunately, I know that no matter what I draw, it's not going to help me. Um, yeah, well played. Some bad draws there, but it happens. Um, I feel like I still did pretty decently, but a loss is a loss. So yeah, wasn't able to get my grass type poker one out, which is very unfortunate. And a few dead draws in the beginning there really, really hurt me. I'm not getting my draw mechanics out early enough. I don't know if there was any misplays that I can think of. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't, can't. I can't really think of any misplays, but yeah. Okay. A loss is a loss. It happens. So I want to jump into one more to showcase this deck. Uh, I am still feeling pretty strong about it. Uh, I do feel like that was a pretty good game for my opponent's side, so definitely well played on their side. Um, they definitely got everything out they needed very quickly, which is quite good, and they actually played very fast. Um, so yeah, let's try one more for today, and then I think we might call it. So I'm having a lot of fun using these older decks. As you can see, this Leaf Charge, whilst being an older theme deck, can do pretty well. Um, I know there was a loss, but I feel like this deck can still put up quite a good fight. And actually going up against an older deck as well. Okay, this will be quite a fun game, I think. Uh, yeah, let's see what happens. Um, this is the old Sylveon deck, which is quite cool. And I'm going second again, which can be quite nice. Uh, yeah. This is not a great start. 
I'm not very happy with this. Hmm. Okay. I've got literally three turns until I come online. Guzma might actually help me in this game if I get a good basic Pokemon. If I can draw into like a Dunsparce right now, I'm gonna be super happy. Um, damn, ah, uh, ooh, this is not helping. Um, it's gonna go a lady to thin up my deck. Okay, one Snover again is a prize card. Those are both there, those are both there. Lantern's in my hand, I got a dance boss, and a Skeptile is a prize card. Okay. Um, yeah, I really need to get some draw mechanics out, and some other basic Pokemon. This is not looking good. Um, mm. Okay. We're getting some really bad luck with this deck today. Apparently today is not the day to be play playing Leaf Charge. Um, yeah, there's not much I can really do. Oh, uh, no. Okay, just got a random card. Uh, I've got a lot, I was gonna say, I've got a lot of energy, so I presume the chances of energy. <sighs> Man, what is happening today? Bad day, apparently. This is a bad day. Okay. Um, next turn is going to be when it starts picking up again. Ugh. Okay, that's not ideal. Because uh, I'm going to be poisoned next turn. Which is very frustrating. I'll get the KO, but I'm going to be taking quite a bit of damage, which I don't want to see. Um, thankfully, this is going to be my opponent's all of their energy on one Pokemon. Uh, so getting that knockout is going to be quite powerful. Okay, that's actually great because I can now at least get my evolutions out next turn. So let's get the psychic out. Goodbye, weeping bell. Um, okay, skeptile. Not what I want to see as a, as a prize card. Man, what is happening today? Okay. Move an energy attached to your opponent's next Pokemon to one of his bench Pokemon. I might actually have to do that. Yeah, Urungru is gonna have to. I'm gonna have to switch out Urungru this turn. It's a Snova, which is quite nice. Um, I'm thinking if I want to use Guzma. Let me see if I get lucky. I would have liked to swap in Lantern straight into Tornadus and just get the KO. Um, I didn't want to lose Uranguru there. I feel like I've got the momentum. Kind of. Um, that's actually a lot better than Copycat, I guess. Well, uh, debatable. Copycat gets rid of dead cards in your hand. It's a bit of a shuffle around. I don't think this deck runs switch. Yeah, I was gonna say, I don't think it runs switch. Okay, timer ball, come on. Okay, okay, that's really good. Um, the question is, do I wanna go into a Bomber Snow? I was gonna say, forever to get energy up on it. 
Or do I want to go... Where's my Trico's? Oh, I could use Evolution Pokemon with this. Okay, I want a Grovel then, and I want an Abomus Note then. And have to get the tree code draw. Um, that was close. Lightning energy. And let's get the KO. No, 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 no. I did not want to lose my energies at this stage of the game. Um, come on, let's get lucky. Let's get lucky. That actually might be lucky in case my opponent goes for the curly ribbon and knocks off my lightning energy. So that's actually not a terrible prize card, in all honesty. Um, I'm feeling okay at this stage. Um, I don't know if this Bomber Snow is ever actually going to do anything. Because trying to get him up to 4 energy is going to be quite difficult without an experience share or without the Electric. Um, Electric, sorry. Um, yeah, my opponent's definitely going for Curly Ribbon. Do I want to knock out this Sylveon? Can't afford it at this stage. Actually, I can afford it. Uh, oh, okay, victory. Okay. Uh, that was a bit of an odd game. Um, yeah, a bit of an odd one there. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the deck list, uh, the deep dive into the deck list. And two games with this deck. Uh, I don't know if this will update immediately, but I've had, I think, five games now of this deck with three wins. Uh, where's that? There it is. Oh, it hasn't up uploaded yet. Yeah, so five games, three wins. Not bad. It's a better win loss ratio. So, yeah, I'm liking it so far. Give some more theme decks some love. Um, so, yeah, thanks so much for watching, everyone. I hope you did pick up some tips and tricks. Hopefully did learn something, and yeah, maybe consider giving some old theme decks a chance. There is some potential there. So, thanks so much for watching, everyone. Please let me know if there's any theme decks you want to see. And yeah, expect some more Leaf Charge videos in the future. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. Cheers. Enjoy.